everybody doing tonight? I won't break the glass. I'll break it. Um, I kind of walked into this talk at the last, at the last night. So my, my you got to talk to the mic. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> my slides suck. They're better than mine. But I, <laughs> <laughs> be true. Anyway, what we're going to talk about today is a, is a little, little tool called uh, T-Stock. I've been using it for a lot of years. It's basically... Don't. Firewalls pretty easy with this. Um, 
I originally had like five five demos that didn't work out, and then it comes up to fruition. So uh, basically, after it's installed, you can just go to command line and type TSOCKS and the application name. So if you want to use the telnet, type TSOCKS, telnet, and then whatever connection, whatever you're trying to connect, whatever you're trying to connect to on telnet, sorry. Um, and it will, if telnet's blocked on the firewall or at the proxy server, it will send it out and bring it back just like it was, you know, there. Same thing works with things like, um, say you have a web browser, and you don't want to mess with the proxy proxy settings in the web browser, you can just say TSOX, space Firefox, or Chrome, or whatever browser you're using, and it will stop, you know, wrap all that connectivity in that in that SOX tunnel and send it out, and you don't have to mess with the browser, all browser settings or anything else. I've used it for SSH, tell that um, browser said, like I said, just about anything. A lot of times I'll run into problems where I can't get AppJet to do like an update. So I'll wrap AppJet updates up in TSOX and it will go through the firewall without any issues at all. Um, sorry, this last minute is about all I got. Is that fun? <laughs> <laughs>